podcast. And now we killing it on the motherfucking podcast. Motherfucking podcast. And now we killing it on the motherfucking podcast. The motherfucking podcast. Yeah. yeah. Gotta turn it up. Gotta, gotta turn, turn it up. up. We gotta, gotta turn, turn it up. up. Uh. Oh. Wow. Cool. Whoa, did we just wow. start with a musical number? You better believe it, man. A motherfucking Whoa. podcast. That's the first time we've started with a musical Damn. number. We started on beat. We started on beat. Hey. Oh, there's our song. That's the that's the, this is a real this is the real wow. intro song. We invented our own intro song today. Wow. And then we also played the real one because I know a lot of people love that. Uh, wow, this is, oh, is we phenomenal. Have we have a guest here. What's going on, guys? Who actually created our other intro song live here on the air. Killing it. Um, I'm just going to lean back on We that. got our boy Morgan J, dude. Morgan motherfucking J. What's up, bro? How you doing, baby boy? I'm good. How you doing, dog? Good, dog. What's up, guys? Chilling, bro. We're out here living our living our best lives, trying to kill the game on that next level. <laughs> dude, motherfucking podcast. Motherfucking podcast. Motherfuckers podcast. Yeah, man. That's right. Yeah, man. I, that's what I'm this? trying to do. Man. That's what you're trying to do. <laughs> Whose mic is this? That's my microphone. Oh, that's I usually his. bring my own mic, a backup microphone in case the podcast people are fucked up. In case we're fucked up. So I got this other microphone <laughs> with me over here. Just in case. You Just brought your own case. mic and that's guitar. Great. Yeah, dude. I bring I bring I bring the entertainment because you don't know if the entertainment's gonna come to you or not. You it's true. I mean? You literally don't know anymore. So, so I'm I appreciate that. So so yeah, so we answer. When do we start answering questions, or does that happen later? Uh, a little too soon. You're jumping the soon. gun. Yeah. All right, shit. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, it will happen, and when it does, it's gonna be fucking lit as hell. So. I'm ready, baby. Are you ready? I mean, I'm chilling. I'm having a good time. I got this. We got we got the we got this emoji. What over model here. is this? What make and model? Visa Cordova. Visa Cordova. It's a guitar. What? It's a Cordova classical guitar. Cordova. Cordova. What I is like it? that. Cordova. What are the like dimensions like? You know, it's like a it's like a twelve by thirteen by eight and a half uh, guitar. Wow! I just, I just made up some numbers, but that's how you kill it. <laughs> it, it you gotta you fake it till you make it, motherfuckers, truly, dude. Truly. I I love that so much. Let's, truly, let's uh, do a little bit of housework before we j- dive into everything and start answering these motherfucking questions. Um, guys, first off, we do accept super chats on this podcast, so if you uh, donate and, to, and and super chat us, we will answer whatever question you ask. Uh, also, fam, also. Um, make sure to support our Patreon. The link is in the bio below. So go ahead and do that, guys. We uh, we thrive on donations. We're able to create this podcast and 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 do cool things on this podcast because of our viewers like you. We're like PBS, but on the internet. So what is that supposed to viewers mean? Viewers like, like you. Thank you. Yes, viewers like you. Whoa. Viewers like you. Viewers Damn. like you. Yeah, dude. So That's there's just that. That's a guitar riff you have forever now. It's, yeah. just, it's just ready to go. It's Do fucking perfect. Are we, re- we have that for the whole time. Well, we could change it up. Let's so wait till we get you, like a you got good. More, you got more stuff you well, got I got one through? more thing yeah, that I want to say. We wanna, have some housework. One more housework. One more housework. Maddie, could you toss me that bib? Oh, <laughs> shit. Hell yeah, dude. Got some business to take care of, I'm bro. so excited because at the end of the podcast, we are going to be giving away a bib, okay? So Hell the way yeah. we do this is throughout the podcast, we list, We talk about a lot of things. Maddie is going to create three questions, okay? We're going to create three questions. We're going to pick the best question, okay? We're going to ask it to you guys, and the first person to respond in the comments wins a boob. So stick around for the whole podcast. How do you know who responded first? Are because they in we're, we're going to watch, yeah, the comments come in, at this, at, in sequence. Yeah, uh-huh. I can see that. Yeah, we can see that, so... There you go. Got this dog there. Here, by the way. We also have a dog here. Oh, look at this cutie He's pie. Vibing, Wallace. Wow. Right, right? What's Wallace and Gromit. He's vibing, bro. Is this Gromit or Wallace? This is Julius. Julius. Okay. Julius, too. Like the Caesar who got stabbed. Who's oh. going to be Julius's brew tie tonight? I don't Probably know, Steve. What do you mean? Chilling. I don't know what that means. It means that you're going to stab the fucking dog for. Why would I do that? Because <laughs> he's a terrible emperor. <laughs> One of the worst emperors in the entire Roman fleet. Oh, Jul- I see what you're saying. Oh, uh, yeah. Like Julius like Caesar. Mr. Caesar. Oh, he's trying to do history? I thought he was talking about the orange the j- shop in the mall. The orange Julius? Yeah. Jesus Christ, Matty Guest. Not not what's happening. Orange Julius. Orange Julius. So as many of you you're know. You're more than a shop at the mall. Morgan, Morgan J is a comedian, and he's got you know he's got his guitar here. He is a musically gifted individual. I'm pretty good. Jeff Foxworthy said I'm a genius. See? Is he this true? A, Can we fact check this? He said this on, on television on NBC. What's right? the show? What's the NBC, show that you were just on? NBC's Bring the Funny. Bring there the Funny, dude. Yeah. Is it still going? Is it still going? It's not going at all. Nobody saw the show. Oh. I thought it would help my career, but it didn't at all. Damn. What? It didn't? Yeah, it did. Didn't it? 
It got me a blue check mark. Okay. That's, that ha- that's a helpful thing. This is like a musical. <laughs> yeah, I won't do it too much. You gotta. No, you won't you do it too much because you don't. You want to show, you do whatever bro. you want, dude. This is the fucking. You, you didn't bring that on not to do it too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. We <laughs> had to add this. an Can extra device. Can we zoom device. in on this device, dude? What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is another device, dude. I like that, dude. I like it, and you know what? It's we're just we're happy we're happy to have you, dude. Because I, I know it. that you're a fucking smart dude. I know that you're a funny dude. I know that you're musically gifted. Yeah. Uh, and I know that we're we can help a lot of people out, dude. Did you get into college could. with your high SAT score? No, I got a I got a 1240, 1230. 12, 1240. Good, I got right? a 1280. Oh. See, he's smart. So, yeah, dude. He's got, Greek though, so he has uh Yeah. That he's got the he's got the Socrates blood. The Socrates, the blood of Socrates. The, the blood of Socrates. The, the, the Socratic method is in him. Goddamn right, dude. Something else is in me too, and it's oh. called fucking heart. Hell yeah, man! <laughs> that's what he has on his guitar. You want to talk about heart? You want to talk about heart? That's yeah, a glitch. I got it on my guitar. That's that's actually like a, a sentimental thing. I don't want to. Yeah, it's too soon. Else. We don't yeah. do sentimental stuff on this podcast. Yeah, dude, so stay the, the fuck the away <laughs> from <laughs> sentimental <laughs> shit, dude. From heart, from love, from heart. And too love. soon. Yeah, uh, yeah way too soon. Um, okay, so I think it's about that time. I feel like it's uh, a good time to perhaps uh, dive into these Look voicemails. At all these calls. Are we going through? Are we going to go through ebombsworld.com and uh, check some of these out? We might. Sound. Remember the I e-bombs world. Remember the e-bomb world sound sound yes, uh, soundboards. I had a f- prank phone call back in the day that went viral on e really? no Yeah, was it Schwarzenegger? Yes. Get the fuck <laughs> I out. I swear to God. Was it the John Kimball? Uh, oh, I forgot. There was one where he goes, "This is Detective John Kimball." No, mine. Mine was. Mine was different. Mine. I called. It was like a a metal company. I, I called a metal company uh, and I was like, who is your daddy and what does he do? Oh, shit. <laughs> and the guy's like, what do you mean? Who's my daddy? Like he was a southern fucking that asshole. That was you, dude? Yeah, dude. That's Holy nuts. Holy shit. Yeah. You used to be bro. so big. I was huge you on E-Bombs World, huge dude. On E-Bombs and World, that bro. was when I was in middle school, dude. That wasn't even now. Damn. So, you so know. you were kind oh. of a comedian. I was, I was kind of a comedian, dude. So. Nice. Yeah, dude. So I, I suggest that. We got that 51 current viewers and i'm fucking digging it that's right dude and guess what dude when, when this like thing twice as many. when this thing goes to apple and spotify we get thousands of downloads really oh yeah oh hell yeah yeah so it's it's fucking yeah. thousands it's of downloads thousands of downloads and yep a steve from high, high school. school what do uh, what do you think about that what do you think about what Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Just stay on your toes, See? dude. You got to stay on your toes, Steve. What do you want me to do? You want me to come in faster? Or else? Whatever. We're, we could, we're, we also, we should do a little uh, We should do a little freestyle at some point. A little hip-hop oh, uh, freestyle. Dude, we do th- no, freestyles I only all do the time. Written, I've already written my stuff. All right, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we, do, <laughs> we do freestyles every episode for the most part these days. Look how chill Julius is. All He's right. a chill ass boy. Well, Morgan, um, will you answer? Will you do some crowd work on Maddie? Yeah, fuck yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can we do this? Maddie, do you got a lover? Do you got a lover? Do you? I do, yeah. And where is she or he tonight? I said he because you got to be woke. And I don't know what you into, dog. Mm. Uh, she's at her house. house. She's at her house. Is she an influencer? Does she do something similar to you? Wow. Yeah, she does. Does she really? Does she really? What she do? She's she, got more followers than Blake. No, Ew. no, Ew. no bullshit, dude. Way. Bullshit. How not many, with my TikTok. Not with my TikTok. Dead. How many followers does she got? Is she an Instagram thought? <laughs> Ready or not? Tell us, Maddie, what you got? <laughs> uh, she's a model, yeah. She doesn't have more followers than me. It's true. She doesn't. Did you just check? Did Maddie you s- makes it up. Because he made it up. Did you slide into her fucking DM? Is that how it went down? No. No. Is that how it went down? He met her. I did you. R-L. Meet her on her pro life. You met her on pro life? (laughs) No, you knew her before that. (laughs) (laughs) At a pro pro life rally, rally. dude. (laughs) It's crazy. Yeah, she's Pro life rally. I remember that. (laughs) We were all there. We were all on Molly at the pro life (laughs) rally. She was so hot. (laughs) (laughs) She was just like, let's get out of here. How old old, old are you, Matty? I'm 30. How old is she? Uh, 26. Wow. That's, that's fucking what's up. Yeah. Wow. That was good. I'm glad Thank we did you. that. Wow, dude. This is beautiful. Yeah. Um, so just to let you guys know, we do have a couple super chats that have come in. Um, Dan Craze gave us a big emoji um, and $50. So oh, thank hell you. Oh, yeah, Dan. Thank you, Dan oh, Craze. Dan, we just got 50 bucks, dude. We'll give you like, like 
Damn. We'll buy you in and out. We'll buy you something, dude. And then oh also Ace God. Pork uh, just threw it, came in. Ace Pork is in the chat. He says, Ace Pork is drunk. Ace Pork just got paid. <laughs> Ace Pork is about to have fun. Yeah. I love it. Ace oh, Pork man, about dude. to have some fucking fun. Fun. Yeah, dude. Ace Pork always has to refer to himself as Ace Pork. Ace Pork. Or he, else I'm he, not talking to him. He's a th- he refers to himself in the third person. He's one of the only few that's allowed to do that. So. Is Ace Pork a, uh, a fan and a... And a- Avid listener of the yep, show. Yep, absolutely. OG. Ace OG Pork Steve. My dude. dude. Just came again. He just came again, dude. He goes, 100 hashtag Ace Pork 2020s in the comments, and he donates $100. Uh, so, guys, drunk. make sure. Wow. Ma- he's very drunk. We got to capitalize. He's drunk. Hashtag yep. Ace Pork 2020s. Fuck. Boom. We, I already and, added yeah, mine. You can get off mine. airplane mode now, and you can. got to do that for, shit. For those of you who are uh, honestly hashtag listening Ace to this on Apple and Spotify, this is a, we live stream this oh, podcast. Shit. This and is how we pay our bills. This is, we this go is how it happens. Ace so hashtag Ace Pork 2020. Let's get to 100. <laughs> in the meantime, let's take our first call coming in from Bakersfield, California. Bakersfield. Let's do it. Let's go. Mm. What's better? Bang or monster? What's better? Bang or monster? Ooh. Oh, bang energy or monster? Bang energy. energy or monster? Well, I'm gonna be real with you. I have I don't really drink. I've never had an energy energy drink. You've never had an energy never drink. Never had an energy drink. Wow, dude. So wait, so you, have you never had coffee? I have coffee. Okay, that's an energy drink. So I think coffee. My I would say coffee. You'd say coffee. You, did you go to private school? No. Well, I went to a private university. Yeah. Yeah, dude. He, he what, what what private school? On three. Should we go three, two, one, and say it at the same time? Okay, sure. Three, two, one. Why NYU. 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 Wait, did you go to NYU? No. Nah. You, uh, I went to FSU. I went Florida to OCC, State Florida State. I feel like I did a college game. Regis, there. you probably did Tallahassee. Oh no, it wasn't there. I, I did Gainesville. I did no, I did FIU. Then I did a, then I did Emory Riddle, and then I did somewhere in Jupiter, Florida. Oh, uh, Palm Beach State College, bitch. I know they were. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Jupiter, Florida. That's where you're from. Dude, that's where I lived. Here, dude. It's I, good podcast. I lived in Lay Jupiter, down, dude. Bro. Lay down, dude. dude don't boy. hit your dog, bro. <laughs> Not on the podcast. He wants to chill, dude. Wow. Chill. Play your music. Don't hit the dog. <laughs> you want to come here? <laughs> <laughs> you want to come don't here? No, your, your dog was doing fine. Steve, so I don't think it. he hit him. I don't think he really hit him. He just... We got to go back to the replay. But... Okay. Bro, look at Julius. He <laughs> Either wants way. To get on it, bro. Yeah, bang, dude. bang, or monster, you fucking monster, ADD monster, bastards. I was addicted to monster. I've never had a bang, so I will also say monsters. Uh-huh. Um, I like that. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, we got another um, super chat here from Ace Pork. He said they pay their bills. Uh, by Ace Pork getting crap faced. It's true. And he says, <laughs> um, Blake, did you really go to FSU? Me too. Oh shit. Ace Pork is an alumnus of oh, my school. Wow. Holy Wait, fucking how shit. Does, and how will we know when he does 100 Ace Pork? He's counting, dude. He's drunk, oh. so, but he's counting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe he's seeing double. Maybe if we're already we just, there. If we just tell him that it hit 100, <laughs> you think he'll just be like, oh, okay, shit. It, it's definitely plausible. Now that he knows that I went to FSU also. Um, I think that things are going to be better for us in 2020. Uh, let's put it that <laughs> way. So right. uh, anyways, next call is coming in from Indiana. Let's go, Indiana. All right. Hey, guys. Um, so, serious question for you. Um, Ooh. Oh, shit. I just oh, lost my brother on. a couple days ago. Oh. Best friend in the whole world. And um, still a little lost. And I was just wondering, you know, what's, you know, have you guys lost somebody real close to you? And, you know, how did you... How did you um, go on from there? You know, what did you do to to get through it? You know, some, some good advice if you have any. Thanks. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this got real. That's I mean, rough. I mean, I have. All right, Morgan, grab your guitar. <laughs> I got a song. Just kidding. For this, no, you know? I got a song. You don't have to. I got a really beautiful song, but we want to take it too, down no, too yeah, much. Yeah, but yeah. I'll yeah. say this. You know, mm-hmm. um, I lost my father when I was six years old, and uh, you know, low key, I go to therapy every week. I, I reach out to friends and family just to talk to them, you know. Uh, don't feel guilty about it. And know that time is an illusion. And uh, that if you believe in branching realities, there's a reality where you and your father are still chilling and vibing and hanging out and having a good time. I, I like that. To, I try to think that, like, in every aspect, like, let's say you, you break up with somebody and then you're like, oh, shit, should I not break up with them? Just know that, like, in another reality, you're still with them, you know? Interesting. This is just our reality right now. And in this reality, you lost your father, but... Somewhere else, he's just—he's fucking killing it. That's right. So her brother, her, her yeah. brother, you lost oh, her, your father. I lost yeah, my father. Yeah, my yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, lost her brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's no. sad, man. He must have been a young dude. Yeah, that's that's rough, dude. I, you know, we've had similar questions to this and what to do in a situation situation where you lose somebody that's close to you. And my, what I always say is, you know, um, remember them 
for who they are by uh, connecting with those who are closest to them. So, you yeah, know, that's con- a good point. You know, because their memories and their memory and everything that they were lives on through the people around them. So, you know, if if you can stay connected, there will always be a piece of your brother uh, with you and with your friends. So I say, I know. you know, do that. And if you're finding a t- uh, finding it difficult to distract yourself from the situation. I always say bury yourself in a project or a passion project or something that you love um, and, you know, maybe not necessarily do it in their memory, but do it, you know, with them in your heart and let that inspire you. Well, I mean, that's what this heart is all about on my guitar. My dad was a musician and. uh... (laughs) Bless you. Bless you. My dad, that was the spirit, dude. My dad is a musician and he had on his guitar a little heart. So that's why all my guitars. So now we know. So that's why I always have like a little thing. To connect with him, you know? I love that. You always hold it with you, something that... So that way you don't always have to go to like a cemetery or something. I love that. Yeah, hold on to something that will forever connect you to them. And, you know, and then let that let that token be something that brings back good memories and not the sadness that you're feeling right now. And can I say one thing? The fact that you're reaching out with this phone call means you're killing it. Right? Yeah. That's wow. honestly like a hardcore killing it podcast. That's me. right, dude. I love that. That's Morgan J. What about podcast. you, Steve? What about yeah, you? It means you're able to look at the thing in its face. Yeah, kind of, like because I was gonna say like whatever you do, make sure you feel all the feelings. S- make sure you don't ignore the feelings. Like you're, if you're super sad, feel everything, because there's no reward not to, and you're just gonna be holding on to shit. So feel all the feelings and just I don't know, just appreciate the time you had with them and realize that time isn't time isn't real. Time, time is isn't, an illusion. Time isn't it is eternal. And like, and appreciate the people that you do have in your life that love and care about you. There you go. That appreciation and and always show gratitude and and never mm-hmm. ever 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 take anyone for granted that you love because mm-hmm. you just you know they could yeah. be gone tomorrow and so um, I we'll hope that, I hope we'll that talk. helps out and uh, we're sending love and 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 all of our respect your way right now. So love vibrations to you. He- hell yeah. Um, Thank that, you. That was a good question. That was a great question. Thank you so much. Uh, last week was one of our worst qu- question well, weeks ever, so it's so good, good to answer, have pig. good questions. You want to sample that, Morgan? Yeah. What about the dog? Answers. <laughs> Don't interview the dog, bro. Right, <laughs> dogs, dogs, like no comment. Um, okay, we got another super chat here from Ace Pork, who says, He's "Chilling hard, dude." Nah, man, I have a high tolerance. I do this every Tuesday. I'm in the country. We're at 18 right now, so he's at 18. However many drinks he's had, that's Wait, pretty. No, 18 Chicago. Ace Porks. Oh, uh, uh, we're at 18. <laughs> well, I, I honestly he's think... He's at 12 he, shots. Okay. I, Loki, I, think, I think he's going to hit 100 uh, hashtags for real. Well, I'm going to keep yeah, doing we will. it. Yeah, we We're going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> we got all night to keep writing in. You yeah. goddamn right. We should right. do an election special. Yeah, let's write a song about... <laughs> write Pork. a song about hashtag Ace Fork 2020. There we go. 2020, dude. Yeah, we dude. could do that. We got another super chat from Pulse Pulsar who says... Are Blake and Steve fans of ventriloquism, and how can oh. you have a ventri- and can you have a ventriloquist on the show? Ooh. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Let's get Jeff Downham on here. I'm not. I'm not a fan. You're I done? know. I know a puppet from the NBC show that I was on that he might be down. Oh this guy yes, right? please. Randy Feltface. You know what I'm talking Randy about. Randy Feltface. Pur- purple dude. <laughs> it's not Jeff Dunham. I don't really Jeff like ventriloquists. Fuck, dude. You don't like him. What, why don't you like him? Because you can't do it. Because you don't know where the voice is coming from, huh? It's Steve, like, does, it's Steve a good, doesn't even know where the voice is coming it's from. It's a good gag for like a. T- you know, a kid's party. Bro, where do you think the voice comes Where from? Where do you think it comes from? Be real. Either the puppet or the guy holding it. Wow. See, wow, he's, he doesn't know. He he's doesn't like, even really. Shut up, dude. He can't, he even, be sure he can't even be sure about it. He can't even be sure about it. You guys, idiot. spell ventriloquism. V-N-T-R-O-Q-L-I-S-M. No, not him. Oh, he doesn't know either. V-N-T-R-O. Spell ventriloquism. V N T R O Q U. You can't, I, how you check it, I got a dog. Ventriloquism. Bro, by the way, this I just dog spelled is it perfect. Vibing with with Steve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> of all the of all the people who has the the highest vibes, write, I think write Steve a, write has a song about for me now. And the dog. For now, he does make the, a song about us. Yeah. Um, let, me, let me get wait. another loop going, just in case we <laughs> get have, another so we loop. Have get another loop, and I'm gonna take on this next uh, super chat yeah. from Mikey Maltz, who says, "Hey, what would I have to do for some music promo? What would you have to do for some? Uh, I would say." Uh, email me at blakevape69 at gmail.com and perhaps we could figure something out. Right on. We're going into this next tune from my boy Morgan J. Coming in all the way from Los Angeles, California. Here he goes. Wow. Hashtag Ace Park 2020. So nice. Vibes. Melody. Uh, wow. 
Smooth some, jazz. You want some drums? Brains and titties. Drums. Brains, brains and titties. This is a song about brains and titties. Mm. I like a girl with a big booty too, but also a girl that is very smart. Hey. I'm looking for a girl with brains and titties. She's got to have a nice face. Goddamn right. We've got those nips out here. Where did where the titty at? Where the titty at? Uh, I put it right here. Oh, here you go. Give, it that, give him that one. Fuck. Yeah. No, no, he only gets the dude. Merch. The titty got wet, dude. The merch titty. One. Titty got a little wet. That's okay. Titties are allowed to get wet well, these days. Do you like days. titties or, boot, um, or booty, dude? There's a bigger one, but he's not selling it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Here you go. Here you yeah, go. Give him the titty. Is this the go. famous titty? That's the, the famous one, one that's been with me everywhere, dude. That wow. one's worth like twelve thousand on eBay. That's my one. day one yeah, titty, I bet dude. It is. It's uh. He looking for oh. day one titty. This is day seventy titty, and this is thirty. And then the titties. 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 Wow. Fuck you. I love it, dude. I love it. But not as much as I love this next voicemail coming in from Midland. Midland. I don't know where that is. Illinois. Oh, sorry. My question is How do you know if a girl likes you? Oh. I just said, not like this. But I don't know if she likes me. So, like, can you help me out with that, bro? Mm hmm. So he wants to know how do you tell if a girl likes you? Morgan. He wants to know if your girl. How do you tell Morgan if a girl likes you? If a girl likes you, she's, she's gonna be making a lot of eye. She's gonna be making more eye contact mm-hmm. than usual with you. She's gonna be putting. She's gonna be putting her hand on your shoulder like this. Yeah, she's you gonna be touching this? you. See this? You, like, know, you know, she's, she's gonna, gonna be do? like touch. She's gonna do. She's gonna do shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. She's gonna be like. <laughs> she's gonna touch so your she's leg gonna, and she's shit. She's gonna be awkward. She's gonna be weird, dude. Yeah. She's or. Gonna, She's gonna be mean to you, dude. It's like mm. either it's either one or the other. It's like they're super nice to you, or they're or they're really mean. to Interesting. you. Interesting. Yeah. So okay, uh, I would say that there's also two two signs that you can tell that a girl does a lot of them. Um, it's it's actually like it's literally through DNA years and years and years. They're gonna scratch their wrist if they're talking to you because they're nervous. Is that right? Yeah, scratch yeah. their wrist and you, then also. You read the game. Play with their hair. Did you read the game? I read the game. Oh, I read the fucking game, dude. I was, when I was when I was a senior in high school, uh, because you know I just I felt like I could get more girls, and I so I was like, how could how, what could help in the game? The game was coming out, so they're gonna scratch their wrist. They're gonna they're gonna play with their hair, and they're gonna be more open to you know if you ask them, hey, should we get should we go grab a drink somewhere? They're gonna be more inclined to say yes. Hell yeah. Yeah, if you see those sig- those signals. Steve, how do you get girls these days? I just like tell them how I feel. Oh, really? That's a good way to be. That's a good way to do. Yeah. Like, some people say you should wait to like text back, but I'm I'm like I also I have red re- I have red receipts turned on, which is very not hype yeah, for the, for you're the swimming game. with the sharks. But you know me, I, I have accountability. I'm just like if I read it, I read it. Also, you got that 3D touch. You could just be like, you could see what it, you could preview. Sorry, I'm a little sniffly because I have allergies. I forgot to take an Allegra. Oh Jesus Christ! Got. Uh, I think I have like a Claritin. Oh no, it's okay. We're gonna grab power those through. instruments. We're gonna power through. We're gonna power. He's through. got instruments. Maddie, you don't gotta go and get some clarity in Maddie. 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 Okay. Where you going? It's pretty fun to do the fuck with this. Let's it is really sing fun. A song. Yeah. Now this is the brains singing. and titties thing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh shit, dude. Oh, he thinks it's a he thinks this is toy me, box. Is this, is this a clarity? Is it gonna make me drowsy? Clarity makes you not drowsy. It's a five HTP. Fuck yeah, let's go. That's dope. Um we we got another super chat here. Um Hashtag Ace Pork 2020. Ace Pork said from last week he still didn't get the boob. Oh. Well. So it's coming, dude. You got his address, right? It's yeah. his, I got it. Um, he also says I'll donate a hundred dollars right now if I can call in. Oh shit. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's take let, let's do it, but <laughs> a, but after this next voicemail, okay? All right. Let's let's do this. Uh, we got this one from Arlington, Arlington, Virginia. Let's get. It. Okay, let's go. What plans do you have for a YouTube channel in 2020? Oh, Ooh, Ooh, shit. Okay. Oh, damn, accountability. I love it. Um, so right now. Don't keep uh, this in front of the dog. He's going to want it. I know. He's, he's, so mean, he's a dude. He's a dude and he wants the titty. He wants bro. the titty. Everybody wants the titty. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, what's my plan for YouTube in 2020? Uh, so it's it's this podcast weekly every Tuesday night. For those of you listening to Apple and Spotify, every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and then also... 
my goal is to release three music videos Whoa. on my YouTube channel this year. Really? Mm-hmm. What kind of songs are you trying to sing, bro? You need a hook? Well, we well, shot one. Well, we, just, we shot one of three. We shot one of three music videos, what? and the song is going to be released on Valentine's Day. It's called uh, Vitamin A. It's going to be put out through uh, the Mad Decent record label, which oh, is Diplo's shit. record label. And we are so excited about it. How oh, excited? Fuck. So yeah. fucking excited, dude. Because the video is hilarious and it's gonna be dope, and they shot it on an Alexa, so it's gonna be fucking lit. <laughs> What's an Alexa? It's you like what? It's like, dude, that's that's Alexis? pretty much an you Alexa. Tell, it's what? Tell. It's basically what they shoot like all the best movies it's on. Pretty Ari's much. digital camera. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I thought you were on America's Got Talent, bro. Yeah, yeah. they probably shot that on Alexa. Or like a do. Sony. Like a I don't. I don't know. So, but but that's my goal is to release that, and I'd like to do more sketches. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. You know, but it but it's difficult on YouTube to grow your channel. Um, Dude, but it's easier on Instagram and TikTok, and so that's why I've been putting. Well, most TikTok's of my content the easiest there. one, man. Now yeah. it is. It's crazy easy, right? It's crazy, dude. I've gained almost a million followers in a month. TikTok. I know. I had one video go viral. I only have like eighteen thousand followers. Dude, keep building it. You think so? Build and grow, dude. Build like, and grow. Yeah, you should do TikToks more than anyone. You have songs. And Music, shit. dude. Music. I, I say. I ordered. Uh, I sang to a Wendy's person at the drive-through, and and, and TikTok. Really responded positively. Hell yeah, do do more of that, dude. What'd you get? I I got the four for four, baby. But now I might get that two for five deal. Yeah, smart. They got that two for five. You know what I'm talking about? With the spicy nuggets. Well, they got. I think get more nuggets, and then you get like a nice chicken sandwich. No, how many likes did you get on the TikTok video? I don't know. I think it was like. Well, I got three hundred and ten thousand views. Damn. And that was just because I fucking sang. I was just in a good mood, but I don't want to force it. Somebody was like, "You gotta keep. You gotta keep singing to to the." You gotta keep singing in order. Every you gotta restaurant. go to you gotta go to every fucking fast food and sing to them. You don't have to do that. Yeah, you gotta be the fast food guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, you need to pigeonholed. Matter of fact, stay off TikTok. Maybe that's the right move. That's true. You can do that. Nah, I was kidding. I don't know what Twitter. The Twitter is making a comeback. Mm, but they're not growing, Steve. That's so what. Wait, so you want to put a YouTube video out? You're putting this out every Tuesday, and then you're gonna put sketches and music videos out. So th- three music videos, ideally, throughout this year, uh, depending on wh- our release schedule for music, okay? Yeah. And then some sketches, you know, when when the time is right, when it feels good. Are you know, I never try to force sketches because sketch comedy's dead. Are you going to tour? Oh, yeah, I'm touring in, in uh, April. Fuck sketch yeah, comedy ain't dead. Uh, I don't know. Fuck, yeah. Uh, but there's, but there's 20, 20 dates that my agent says we have lined up. Oh, so it's am I going to be on that? that? Yeah. Hell yeah? We need an opener. All right, I better be. Yeah, <laughs> so Steve will be there too, uh, and it's gonna be lit. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, dude, uh, you, should do a, you should do like a documentary. We are. We're do, are, we're you, doing are you gonna dock? You gonna dock it? Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, and then film content around it as well, like that's what's up. like little digital shorts. Are and you shit. gonna try to DJ shows in like some towns that you're in? Maybe depends. Depends what, what happens with the release of our song. Do you know what? Do you know what, uh, do you know what this other comic does that they told something from? This other comic told me when he goes to a town, he goes. Sorry, when he goes to a town, he goes. Uh, he calls a local bar up and he'll say at the end of his show, uh, "Hey guys, I'm gonna party at this bar afterwards." And then he calls the bar and he says, "Hey, I'll, if you give me X amount of dollars, I'll tell everybody to go party at your bar." Wow! So he gets like an extra five hundred thousand bucks like every weekend if he wow. goes to, to like a back end. Just something to think about. That's smart. No, even, it's, even if you show up for like half a second. That's right. That's right. Oh dude. shit! That's right. Um, Ace pork just dropped the hundred. Let's let's go. Let's Don't, let's dive into. You're not supposed to read ahead, Morgan. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, you're allowed oh, to. Okay. You're allowed to because we got super chats. We got a bunch okay. that we were going My into, bad. and we're gonna get you down do to it. it. My bad, dude. No, no he, he do brought that. it. He brought it to our attention. <laughs> Jeff Fuel OG says hashtag Dogs Love Steve. Ooh, it's Jeff. True. Yeah, dogs, dogs love Steve. Steve dude, dogs man. love Steve. Dogs love me, baby. Steve's high vibe. Ace Pork says double hashtag Ace Pork 2020s are not counted. JK, they are encouraged. So oh, <laughs> damn. He flipped it. He flipped it. Flipped the switch, uh, which leads Ace us pork. to Chad Clark says, make sure Steve doesn't touch the dog's anal, oh, anal glands. He spelled it with the, uh, come on. the thing on the N. Oh, so, he made a little funny. Until day. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Um, and then we have the Ace Pork hundred dollar donation, which wow, dude. Let's let's just end it here, dude. Yeah, so Wait, that's I don't. Good. I don't know if that's for Morgan. The play the outro song. Yeah. No, Wait. I'm just oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now here's what the thing. That? Here's the thing about that. I don't know if that's for the call or if we hit a hundred Ace Pork twenty twenty. Uh, Ace Pork, give us another hundred dollars. Let us know what that was for. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna call him right now. We're gonna make a call to Ace Pork. Yeah, you have him on Ace speed Pork, though? Right. I got his number. Yeah, he got his number he's right one here. Of my, he's my top favorite. I'm, I'm gonna call him. Uh, we're putting it on Morgan, speaker. Morgan, play a song for him. Ace Pork, call him. He's Ace Pork. Not, not call has been wow. Call, 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 wow. Call again because he's probably on Do Not Disturb. Call again. Oh, okay. And if you do it twice in a row, it will go through. Let's go. 
Let's oh, what, you did work at the Apple Store, huh? Wow. Yeah, yeah, I did. Let's see. Chase Port. It was on Do Not Disturb. Wow. Relax. It has but an answer. He's going to pick up. Uh, he's going to pick up. There we go. Ba, ba, Colin Ace Port. Ace Port. Ace Port. Hello? Hello? Oh, is, is that my up. boy? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's Ace Port. What's going on, Ace Pork, my dude? How you doing, brother? Oh, I'm good. You know what's funny, man? What's funny? Uh, <laughs> I just got a tattoo, actually, of a of a ace of a ace uh, pork? card with a pork symbol in the center of it. <laughs> no, you did not. No bullshit. Swear to God, I did. Why are you He's such drunk. a fucking legend, dude? When you were on, when you when you were getting that tattoo, were you drunk? Uh, very. Very. <laughs> <laughs> What's Ace Pork's very. drink? Wow. Uh, this, this past weekend, we just went. I, I drive. You already know I drive a bunch of quads, supermodels, and shit in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sober. Cops are pulling us over and shit. And I drive my dirt bike, bike around. I got a bunch of videos of it and shit. I'll send it to you later. You know how it is. And uh, we were doing wheelies and doing jumps and shit off of crap in Atlanta. <laughs> and I was That's like, hey, sick. you know, it's a good time to start drinking. So I had to put the supermoto back up onto the truck. And was like, hey, let's get a tattoo of a ace ace uh, uh, card with a with a piece of pork in the center of it. And all a bunch of dudes were like, why would you do that? And I was like, you know, ace pork. And they're like, why are you ace pork? And I was like, I don't know. I just that's who you, you are. Know, sometimes I'm drunk. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes you're ace. <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes you're ace. Sometimes you're pork. Sometimes ace pork goes Iraq and makes some money. You know. Goddamn right, my dude. Uh, it's funny because you're talking about Atlanta. I'm gonna be in Atlanta this weekend for the Hemp World Expo. What was that? Oh, nice. So, are, when are you gonna Don't be worry there? About actually, because uh, I'm I'm leaving pretty soon. Well, again, to go he's gotta to go. That's uh, that's fucking lame, dude. You should stay because I'm gonna be there Saturday and Sunday at the Hemp World Expo. If you got there. Uh, I get there Friday. Friday. Or Thursday, actually. Damn, no, I get there Friday. You guys always just miss each other. Ace Pork, you're on. you're always missing me. Uh after like evening. He's probably it's a good like ass a fucking thing. figment of your guys' imagination. I actually don't exist. You guys are just too high and you're really just donating the money to yourself and all these recordings are really just yourself doing it previously. <laughs> and I really oh. don't exist. Whoa, he's poor. Nah, dude. Conspiracy. That's not at all what's yeah. happening. This is it's, live, What's dude. he drinking? Ask him what he's yeah, drinking. Yeah, what are you like, sipping on right now? What are you drinking? What Monster made you say that? Monsters are uh, banned. It's called Bumba Rum. Bumba Rum. Ooh, That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, it's the best <laughs> shit in the world. Is it top shelf? It's really fucked up. Top shelf? Oh, it's top shelf. It's like 100 and something. I don't know. I think it's a 100 like something. bottle or something. Wow, dude. Wow. I'm, I'm going to look it up, and then uh, I might give it a shot. Dude, rum gets my cheeks red, dude. Well, I'm getting my dick hard, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough wow, Ace Pork. Jeez, dude, there's a dog in this room. Chill. Yeah, dude, his dick's out, for real. Wow. Hey, we dog, by the way. What's, What's up? up? What happened to your dog, by the way? He lives with his grandma. I follow him on Instagram and shit. He lives with his grandma. Oh, man. Can we ask farm. Ace Pork a question? Out on the farm. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, hold on. Morgan has a question for you. Ace Pork, let me ask you a question, bro. Do you think it's weird to take a shower with a dog full full naked? You and the dog full naked in do the think, shower together? Do you think it's weird to take a shower oh, with a dog? No, dude. No. It's not, right? No. no. Dude, I was talking no, to... Dude, I was telling somebody that I did that, and then the, the guy was like, "Well, what if?" I was like, "What? What if what, bro? What if what the dog starts sucking your dick by accident? What are you talking about, dude?" <laughs> That's not what happens. Dogs never suck what your dick. What if what? Actually, you sure start- if a dog starts accidentally sucking your dick, like you got some other issues too. Maybe you're on LSD or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. but, but you, you don't think it's weird, right? It's not fucking weird. That's going on. And so we're looking at this dog's dick all day. Yeah, so, dude. He doesn't give a fuck about your dick. I can promise you that. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's like, what if he, what if he takes dude, a whole look at your dick? dick my, I got a big old 145 pound mastiff. Oh, like, shit. Pretty sure his dick is like 10 times the size of mine. Dick. So, <laughs> dude. <you know. laughs> and that's yeah, okay. Sorry, <laughs> not trying to get you demonetized or anything. No, but. no, it's okay. As We're long already. as you don't touch dicks with your dog, I think you're good. Yeah, yeah don't, as long as you're not touching dicks with your dog. I'm just washing the dog. It, it, as long as it doesn't touch, it doesn't count, right? Goddamn yeah, right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for answering that question. Yeah. I had a. I called in. We yeah. called in with to you with a question. We called into Ace Pork for the question. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah. We get one question. All right. So we still we still got to make a hundred uh hundred hashtag Ace Pork twenty twenty. All right. But how All right. Hashtag Ace Pork twenty twenty. Let's there go. There we go. We need you guys money. heard it straight from his mouth, dude. I gotta do laundry. <laughs> Steve's gotta do laundry. Hell yeah, Steve. Uh, I love double, it, dude. Double, triple, quadruple are encouraged. Okay. All right. Let's go. 
The people have heard it. Uh, right, Ace Pork, thank you. Good. You have a good one, my dude. All we'll right. talk soon. Later. All right, Wow, dude. what don't, a good dude. Don't drink. He already, oh, we already hung out. Damn it. But if he's watching the podcast, he just heard that. So that's unbelievable. I'm so excited. Wow. I'm so excited about Ace Pork and what he's got planned for Do we know Ace Pork's real name? Can't say we can't say we can't say anything. Yeah, Whoa. he he works for the government. Yeah, oh, he works for shit. the government. He's a contractor. He's, no, he's like a big secret agent. Yeah, oh, dude, no he way. sells weapons he's to good. to the. People. I can't even say that. Like we have to go through and scrub the internet now. Literally, it's crazy. Like that he's he's Park can see right? anyone who costs. Park is secret as fuck. Mm-hmm. He's secret. He's secret as fuck. Okay, pork is a secret. Wow, I love it. I love it. Let's take another call. Let's take it. Killing this next potty. call coming in from Salt Lake City in Utah. Mm, Utah. Very Mormon. Blake, I have the question. How did you lose your virginity? When, mm. where, and how? Should we all go around the room and talk yep. about it? Good question. This is a good question, dude. Um, so it's crazy, dude. I actually lost my virginity when I was 10. It was crazy, dude. Me, yeah, dude. Abuse. Me, yeah, dude. There was like this seventh grade girl named Tessa, and we were just on recess pretty much. And I was like, she was like, yo, let me suck your dick. And I was like, I don't know, Tessa. I don't, I'm 10. I don't know. And she's like, no, nah, let me suck your dick. And I was like, all right, fine, Tessa. And so then we went behind the trees near the maintenance shed. And, you know, she, I actually, I lost my virginity technically doing anal first. Whoa. I did anal. She sucked my dick, then I did anal, and then I washed my dick because I knew about germs, and then did vaginal intercourse. So I was ten. What did you wash your dick with? Um, I, I brought a bar of soap with me because I didn't know what was going to happen. Were you like, "This is cool"? Yeah, I was like, "Damn, dude, this did, feels good." Did she have, did she have uh, boobies? Oh yeah, huge, dude. Triple D's in seventh grade, dude. All girls Whoa. have boobs. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> You're it's right. crazy. I'll, I'll grow, that is crazy, man. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. And, and, then, I, and when was then? Well, let me ask you this: How long after the first time did you have it again, like with a different person? Fucking next day with a different girl. <laughs> no, same spot, different girl. No. Next You're day, dirty, dude. bro, dude. Yeah, no no, what was the other girl's name? The other girl's name, Jennifer Aniston. You lost your virginity, but it wasn't twice the in Jennifer Aniston. What? You lost your virginity twice yep. in two and I days? did anal with her too, and it was great because I was shooting blanks at that time, so I just nutted Whoa. inside both of them. Yeah, no issues. No dude. issues. Why you started off shooting blicks? Of course, dude. I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't. <laughs> I, couldn't I couldn't fucking. I couldn't make sperm at what age you like 10. the Benjamin Button of sex? No, dude. I was ten years <laughs> old, 10 years Steve. Old, bro. Steve. I was Steve. I, I was ten. Steve, he was ten. I dude. was fucking ten, dude. Well, you shouldn't be having sex, bro. Well, I was, and I did, and it felt good as hell, dude. And I'm still having it. You should have waited, bro. What about you, Morgan? When was the first time you had sex? I was fucking eighteen, like a loser, dude. Wow, dude. Well, I was having sex eight years before was, you. I'll tell you what happened. Crazy. I, was, I was showering with my dog, and then I fucking. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Do you start accidentally sucking your dick? Yeah, dude. And I was like, <laughs> damn, this is dope. That probably felt and so then, good. Uh, no, I was at this. I was at. I was at college. I was in my dorm. I was. Uh, I was watching Team America with this girl in my bed. Oh, I love that sh- film. And then this other girl showed up to my dorm. My door drunk. She lived on the floor above, and she was down to clown. You know, down to clown. What's that mean? Down to clown means down to down to fuck. Okay. DTF. Down okay. to clown. It could be whatever. Maybe she was down to have, like, you know do some clowning and then fucking. But she. Uh, so then I kicked this other girl out of the room because she wasn't. And nothing was going to happen. So then the girl came down. So you just said, get out of here? I just said, hey, yeah, I think you should go. Wow. Mm. Which was funny because she lived in the building, too. So it was like, she probably would, you know, it was rude. Anyway, yeah, I so think it's about time. You <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's about time. Somebody else actually wants to fuck, yeah. so get out of here. Oh, it's leave. getting pretty late. looks like 745. looks like uh, uh, dick, no, and then, dick's uh, like a clock. <clears throat> yeah. And then, this uh, movie isn't going to get any better. And then she came She came in, and we, we watched the D.L. Hughley talk show for a little bit. Mm. Um, nice. And then I said, at the next commercial break, I'm going in. And then before we knew we were having sex, I will say it smelled it smelled like a little bit like a butt. And I what was What did? The the like the whole aura of sex, but it smelled like a dirty butt. So you I didn't know what hole you were in? No, I knew what hole I was in, but I didn't know if like I had wiped my butt enough or if she had not wiped her butt enough. Ooh. And, but so also, maybe both of you needed to do an extra swipe. But Someone also had to wipe the butt. Yeah, but also in my head, I was like, "Oh man, maybe like it just smells like butt all the time." Oh, oh no, you were nervous. You thought and then I and then I, and then I kicked her out of the, I kicked her out, and then I called my brother. I said, "Bro, I just lost my virginity," and he goes, "Yeah," and he said, "Why isn't she still in your room? You could have sex with her again right afterwards." And I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> you're <laughs> fucking right." Man. I could have. Wow, uh, it's amazing what you learn. Uh, little things is a, is a, yeah, so that's about, that was me, man. Steve, what about yeah. you? When was the first time you lost your virginity? 
Hannah Phelps. Um, oh shit, naming people. Hannah yeah. Phelps, dude. If you're listening, Steve's still here and he remembers just got you. Done watching uh, Deal, Titanic on the <laughs> DVD. Oh, no way. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so romantic, dude. Yeah. Do you know it was probably Leo that got her wet? It wasn't you. Whatever. It's probably. I'm just saying, dude. Leo's the one that probably did all the pre work for you. That's dude. true, man. I know a girl who just, just watched Once Upon a Time in, in uh, Hollywood. In Hollywood, and she told me she like literally got wet while watching Brad Pitt in that movie. Well, dude, I did too. Sometimes you need a spotter. Okay. You know when that's, you're working out. That's fine. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> just to get up. the just to get it off the bar. You know, a warm up. He does the warm up for you. Yeah, that's, he does the warm up. Makes a lot of sense. I come in warm. You come in hot. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What well, about you, doggy? When did you, is that dog a virgin? He's got no balls, so so probably a virgin. Wow, a virgin. Nerd. nerd, fucking dude. nerd. Maddie, got no fucking testies. Maddie's got wow. a virgin story. Do you think dogs Maddie. know when we're making fun? Oh yeah, Maddie, what's up? Yeah, when did you learn your virginity? Uh, is it to an Instagram model? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was to my first girlfriend. It was pretty basic. Really? Pretty yeah. basic. What does that mean? I just like I was just cute. First base, second base. You were base. cute. I was being cute, and I've she's like, cute. "We're gonna have sex," and I was like, "Tight." And then that was pretty much it. And then the condom broke, and I thought I was gonna have a baby. But oh my god, my condom broke. Yeah, why is oh, it? Oh, you guys are such idiots. Condom bros. Don't wear condoms. I didn't yeah, know dude. that. Was that. it like, what were you doing it? And you were like, "This sucks." And then all of a sudden, you were like, oh, "I can do it." <laughs> tight. Yeah. <laughs> Don't. I, I didn't realize it broke till afterwards. And I was like, "Oh shit!" But apparently, she was on the pill, so everything was fine. Damn, dude, uh, condoms are wow. terrible. No STDs there. Not, not that I know of. Okay, good. Nothing yet. Just making sure. Uh, that was like 10 years ago, t- 22 years ago. Okay, good. Wait, I'm not sure how long Well, ago. sometimes the crazy from syphilis sets in later in life, so That's I just want to make sure you're okay. Right? Yeah. No, you're making that up. No, I swear to God, Google it, dude. Google syphilis crazy people. Um, also, Colorado has twice as much syphilis. Does it? Yeah. Ah. Because so, the oh. Rockies, dude. Top the Rockies. Jesus Christ. That is the I... worst spelling in the world. Maddie's the can't spell so they anything. Can syphilis. Syphilis. This is embarrassing. You're horrible spelling. Do they see this on the live chat or no? They yeah. can He's just got to share they, the screen. They can see whatever they want, bro. This is this is all fair game. Does syphilis, if syphilis goes untreated, the affected person has a, is at risk of developing neurosyphilis. This is an infection of the nervous system, specifically of the brain and the spinal cord. So, Uh-oh. yeah, dude, syphilis will make you go crazy if it's untreated. This so. is an affection of the nervous system. Wow. Was that good? Dude, that was great. Dude, I think you're naturally amazing. I want to do more songs. Okay. <laughs> well, let's answer this next question. Steve texts me. He's like, you better bring From New book. York in a song. For, this oh, one's going to be answering oh, okay, a question. Sure. New York. Yeah, dude, what do you prefer, Xbox or PS4? And if it's a PS4, hit me up because you know I already got one, dude. <laughs> we, know yeah. he, we know he already got one. Um, what you got, bro? You got a PS4 or an Xbox? I have an Xbox. Unlocks. What about you, Steve? Do you even play video games? I don't play games. That's what's I up. I don't play bro. games. Me personally, I'm, I'm a PS, uh, PS fan all through and through, dude. Twist, Twisted Metal. Going back to Twisted oh, Metal, bro. Oh, yeah. Twisted Metal. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I've had both throughout my life, uh, but I have an Xbox right now, and I barely play it because I'm colorblind and I suck at video Are games. You colorblind, bro? I'm colorblind, dude. It's my, you know, I don't like to it's talk a, about it very often, but I'm colorblind and it's difficult. You know, life is, life is tough, dude. He, he can actually do a lot of really cool tricks, but one thing he can't do is see color. Yeah. Because you do vape tricks too, huh? I used to. I gave it up. Because it, it was killing people? I mean, no, nah, because it was, it was fucking up my life. He can juggle a golf ball with a, with a nine iron, but he can't tell you what fucking blue is. I mean, know? how was I it? Can, I'm so curious how how vaping was fucking up your life, bro. Can well, we get deep like that, or uh, no? I, I, yeah, I can I tell you. I can tell you. I can tell you exactly what it was doing. It was getting in the way of like my friendships. You get know, get in the way of my friendships. I was too busy. I was too busy. You know, talking about flavors. So and they were up, like, we're <laughs> done talking about flavors right now. And I was Somebody like, Sorry, would hit you up, like, Yo, Blake, what you up to? He's like, I'm vaping and 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 chilling vaping. And then they'd be like, "Well, I'm not down with that." No, no, they, and they'd be like, "Oh, dope! You want to go to the movies?" I'd be like, "Yeah, dude. Can I vape in the in the in the movies?" And they'd be like, "No." Nah. I'd be like, "Well, then, sorry, I'm not going to the movies." Fuck. But so, what about your color uh, problem? You've never been able to see color. Nah, and I didn't even know. I wasn't able to see it until the doctor said I couldn't see it, and I was like, "Oh shit, here's I can't a, see it." Here's wow. a serious question for you, bro. If what? you could, if you could, if you could see any color in the world, what color would you see? He wouldn't know. But I'm saying, like, what color do you hear a lot of people talking you, about? Just like a people, vibrant gray. People always talk about red. And so I want to see red. You're talking. You're talking into an off-red microphone, Fuzz. Yeah. Nah. Don't yeah. lie to him. Don't it's lie nah. to him. It's, it's Don't pink. Lie to him. It's pinkish, bro. This is pink. Yeah. It's pinkish red. Wow, dude. Yeah. Too bad I, he can't see it. 
The first girl I had sex with said my the head of my dick was pink. Maddie, what are you doing over there hacking into the system with your clickety clacks, dude? Can you type quieter? What the Jesus, fuck? Dude. Yeah, Maddie got the loudest fucking keyboard on earth. Of all Jesus, time, dude. Jesus, dude. Hacking into the system. I love it. Can he's I get the a guy typewriter? The, he's the guy in the fucking van. You know, he, he, he was, <laughs> was it distracting? He's terrible no, in the van, too. Screen, Maddie. The cops would hear you clacking at a mile away, he's bro. He's writing questions. He's writing the questions for the giveaway at the end of the podcast. Yeah, he's, away a boob. he's got 12 giving questions away already. Boob. Yeah, dude, you guys I are for- fucked. I just <laughs> forgot about the questions, so I had to catch if up. If you guys didn't, didn't, I haven't been paying attention, you're fucked, dude. I have some good ones. Yeah, there's some good ones on here, but not as good as this next question. Coming in from Sacramento, California, Sacramento. Hey, I have anxiety. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, he has anxiety. So do we all, bro. We all have anxiety. Didn't sound like a question. Didn't sound like a question. Well, if you had a question, hit up that Indica weed or uh, get a little small prescription for Xanax. But weed is better than Xanax. Yeah, and then also try not to try to be present, dude. Because when you're present, it's harder to have anxiety because and anxiety, meditate. you know, is, is stemmed from what you're thinking about in the future. Wake yeah. up in the morning and go work out and see if you still have anxiety. <laughs> Or if it's just energy that you really need to burn off. Did Did you ever see that meme that's like anxiety is just believing conspiracy theories about <laughs> yourself? Whoa, sad. I like that a lot. It's good, dude. Did it's, you guys Did you guys see that thing on Hulu about truth and lies, Jeffrey Epstein? No, mm-hmm. is it a documentary? It's fucked up, dude. I'm trying to. He, I think he, the royal family killed him, bro. Really? I think because Prince Andrew was fucking sixteen year old girls. Oh, so. Prince Andrew. That's the, by the way, if you don't know who that is, it's Harry, Harry, and whatever the the kids. Uncle, Meghan Markle's uncle in law. Yep. Yeah, it's not that kind of podcast, bro. We're trying to make no, it. No, but that's good to know. <laughs> that's good to know. know. I'm glad I I'm it. glad I was never in the royal family. So Fuck yeah. that's good. Um we have another super chat here from Pulse Pulsar who says, Do you like insane clown posse? Juggalo for life. Do you guys like insane clown posse? Listen, anything that empowers you to be you know better than you are mm-hmm. I, I, i'm a, I'm a fan of so d- am i like do i my diehard juggalo no but do i appreciate what they stand for 100 percent. 100 percent, dude you like beastie boys better i think beastie boys are tight beastie boys are real tight dude um you know i like the one song that they do the dating game that's a good song yeah white people rapping in, at all is like pretty cool yeah and and that song is pretty fucking good um Matty, but I, do you rap of course can you rap Hey, he's I got can, a beat machine. I can, oh, shit. Show him your beat machine so we can collab. Uh. Do you rap? Yes, I do. Maddie on the mic. One, two. Oh, shit. Maddie this is like Run mic. DMC. Should we, should we do a freestyle? Oh, uh, yo. Well, it's hard for me to do my foot because I'm, I'm... You want to re-record, re-record one to this Re-record tempo? to that tempo. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's do it. All right, here, here we, we go. go. We're about Are to we... make the best song in the world. Wow. Here we go again. I hope you're ready. Making good music. Oh, shit. I might have been off. There it is. Oh, yeah. Chilling with this girl on a Monday. Monday. We going down to the South Bay. South Bay. I'm like, what you want to do? You want to go see a movie? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I said, what you want to see? She said, cats. I said, okay, I'm in that. Uh Uh-uh. What? In that. Cats. Yeah. Judy Dench as a cat is dope. Want to see all those fucked up effects. Where they at? In the movies. That's cats. 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 Fuck. Wow. Anybody else want to lay down? I'm ready. I'm ready. Cats. I hate that fucking movie. Oh. That's why I didn't see it. I sucked on a booby. Mm. Hell yeah, I felt really good. I just said Willie, and that's good. good. Hell Ruby, yeah, fam. Yeah. Having good times. That's what we do out here. Have good times. Oh. Yeah, I can rhyme with times, but it's okay because I got some dimes. Yeah. I keep them in my pocket, and I keep them in the front. Fuck. That's what I do oh. every day. Bitch, you a cunt. What? I don't know why yeah. I got so angry, oh. but it's okay because I'm a little hangry. Angry. <laughs> I think what we eat. should do is Gotta we, should, eat. we should put that on for the next question we answer. We should we should bring this back out and then bring it actually out? answer. Okay, let's answer it. Rap answer. Okay. Okay. Rap answer. Okay, let's see okay, if right. this. Uh, let's let's. But that was while just, you're looking yeah, for the right question. While you're looking for the right question. Where do you get that, bro? I want that. 
uh, you don't it, get that. It's a pocket I feel like I've operator. Seen this. I think yeah. I've seen yeah, this. It's just a little and just to machine. let you know, if you modulate that into fucking your computer and you put it in, you know, it's loud, the beats are whatever, crisp. the the kicks, the, the hardest kicks, dude. I don't care what anyone says. So just letting oh, you guys yeah, know. Bro. Best kicks. Um, kicking. Ace Pork did the hundred dollar donation. This Let's is for the go. hundred hashtag. Let's go. Ace Pork twenty twenties. By the way, no it's drugs, but weed. Stay away even from the ambient kids. Yeah. So good yeah. message. A good message. Along with, uh, you know, that for the for the podcast. So hell yeah! Everyone just said that our raps were uh, terrible. Um, so Fuck, that's, you know that's rude. That was our first shot. That was our first shot. This, this, is, a first, and, this is the first. This is the first one that killed a pop. we were killing it. There was no through line, you know, and so we're gonna have a through line when we answer yeah, a dude. question. And we haven't smoked weed for like two hours. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Can you guys stop with the hate? Can you just be supportive? Killing it means going out of your comfort zone and trying new things. That's what killing it means. Literally, that's literally what it means. So dude. if you're not killing it, if you're out here, ju- what you know, does killing it mean again? Say go, it again. For going the out of your fucking comfort zone and doing something that scares you and just trying to create stuff. But if you're on the fucking internet hating and and saying you guys suck what well, it's not going to encourage us to get better nah i'm there's, not encouraged there's two groups of people okay there's there's a group of people who rap together and they all talk shit to each other they go oh you suck oh <laughs> that sucks you're yeah, whack man. and they're afraid to be free it's all yep. about having and fun get man. their art out there. whoever That's said that that was very ronan farrow but i'm you. not done with my point <laughs> <laughs> morgan nice shut up and then there's another group of people who are like all nice to each other and they support each other and then that those those kids will actually grow. That's right. Those there kids are actually going to grow. Um, okay, so let's take this question. And we're going to wrap the answer. This one's coming in from Tallahassee, Florida, where I went to college. Oh hell yeah! Hey, hey guys, it's Chad sitting here with Emily, calling okay. from Florida. We wanted to see how you guys would do with an ethics question. Oh. So Fuck. there's a small train going down the train tracks. A little further on, there's an overpass where you're standing with a, a very large man. Oh, shit. A little further, there's five other people that are tied to the train track. They're, they can't go anywhere. They're stuck. So you could sit by, do nothing, and allow five people to die, or you could push the very large man onto the train tracks by stopping the train. So do you sit back and allow five people to die and do nothing, or do you, by your own hand, condemn one person to die? Love you. Bye. Wow. Ready? Hit, the, hit the beat, bro. Hit the beat, dude. <laughs> yeah, hit the beat. fucking beat. This is a question of morality. Hit the fucking beat. I remember this hey. in philosophy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Five people verse one. What you gonna do to get it done? You gonna save them all or are you gonna kill the fat one? How do you know if the fat guy isn't a rapist? How do you know if one of the five people isn't a thief or a terrible person? You, you know what I'm saying? This is a very hard question. But to play it safe, I kill the fat person. They don't care about their health anyway. So tell them, have a nice day. Bye! Wow. Have Unbe- a nice day. Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I got to nice answer day. in a wrap. Yeah. Okay. If you want to. Okay. Sorry about that. The dog took the headphone out. Dog knocked yeah, the dog headphones out, but I'm going to come in. Yeah, it does, yeah let's, let's mm. do it. Uh, uh, restart uh, that one. This is a question of morality. I don't know, but it's very boring. And reality is if you don't do anything, technically you're doing the right thing. Because if you condemn one man, even if he's fat, he can be better <laughs> than he was we lost the guitar but that's okay because we gotta keep talking about this moral question that i'm answering okay anyways do nothing and you've done nothing wrong do something oh. and you killed a fat guy oh, so wow. that's what i say oh, damn, stay yeah so unfortunately by doing nothing you're really you're yeah. really you're really not doing anything bad because you know you're, let, you're letting fate decide. You're letting fate decide, dude. So I do nothing, and sorry about those five right, people sick. that died. You, got, you ready, Steve? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Why's it gotta be the fat guy? <laughs> why can't it be medium, like 175? Oh. That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> and why's it gotta be a guy? Why you gotta pick between one or five? Why can't you just look for other large shit to throw in the way so you can survive? Why can't oh, you shit. just fucking love each other and not worry about that shit? Why does anybody live in the have moment and enjoy the train ride? Enjoy the ride. Enjoy oh. the ride. Yo, enjoy Be the alive. ride. Yeah. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. Okay. Enjoy the ride. All right, Maddie, go. Oh, this is what I would do. You're wondering. I know you. I would Ooh. tackle the fat guy and go down too and kill myself so I don't have to explain it to. Yes. Oh. I would die, kill myself. It'd be great. 
I go to hell and party with all my heroes like Hendrix and Cobain. We be all insane. And Hitler. Hey. <laughs> Save all those people and you still go to hell? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what yeah, the fuck? What would you do? I did a lot more. I did a lot more, so I deserve to jump. Wow. I'm going to jump. We go into the solo. I it's love it. It's a question of the time. time. It's morality, dude. So, it's morality. You know, that was I love it. That was, that was a good prompt. That was good, dude. That was good. That was sick. That though. was really good. Um, yeah, so I, I hope that answers your question. Oh, Great Sport just put in what Great 100 prompt. shut up, Steve works too. Yep. So he goes. Oh, Ace Pork says he will Who donate a hundred. Wait, no, no, no. We got to do it in order. We got to do it in order. He, Ace Pork says we'll donate a hundred dollars more for a hundred. Hashtag Steve is great. So, uh, guys. Let's but go. then he followed it up with I'll make it easier with uh, hashtag Shut up, Steve works too. So okay. let's do it. I'll let's go. It. If you I'll guys, if you guys want to do it, let's do it. Uh, hashtag Shut up, Steve. Hate it, hate me or love me. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> or hashtag Steve is great. So either one is good. Hashtag either one is shut good. up Steve is easier to type out. Yep. And we and we just got another super chat from him who says, uh, here he goes. By the way, send me a boob. My accountant added up how much I've contributed to this podcast, and it's around $2,800. <laughs> Jesus. So it's like 280 boobs. All he wants oh, is one. Man. So we're going to make sure to send him out one. Where do you get your boobs oh, from? Is it from uh, China? It doesn't matter where they're from. Oh fuck yeah! Ace yeah. hey, Pork, you got to think of some kind of entrepreneurship thing you can do with this exposure. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> with this huge exposure that you're getting in the <laughs> audio version of this podcast. So, um, yeah, that's beautiful. But yeah, your boob will be sent out this week, dude. I've got I've got mm. yours right here. I'll I'll even sign it for you, dude. Ooh, so we should all yeah. sign it. We should all sign the boob. No, for that'll him. take with money away. It'll what? be worth less. Okay, <laughs> yeah, maybe I won't sign it because there's not a lot of surface area. You could, take a, you could take a photo with the boob and then put that photo and sign it. Okay, Ooh, put it in the envelope. there you go. Meta. That's wow, meta. Soup's Meta, dude. So, you yeah, did go to MIU, didn't you? We're sending it out this week, Soup's this Meta week, is dude. also my doctor. Soup's Meta. <laughs> oh, yeah? Is he is he from Bangladesh? Soup's, Soup's meta. meta. Soup's, Soup's meta. meta. Soup's Meta. Um, that's beautiful. Um, beautiful because we got another call here from Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. That's actually where hey, Ace Park is from. Oh, I shit. hear every once in a while uh, you bring up uh, – how you used to play hockey. Mm. Just wondering what your favorite NHL team is, and can you give me a quick tray away? Thanks, okay. Man. Dude, you got to go get it. Of course. I never played hockey. I just played that butt hockey you do in gym class where you roll around those little scooters and oh, you have little yeah. hand hockey sticks. That's the okay. only hockey I played. That's the only hockey you played. Who's your favorite hockey team? I don't watch hockey. Okay. Um, my favorite hockey team is the Detroit Red Wings, dude. dude you gotta get your shit. You think? Uh, it's so far bro. away. Dude, get it, bro. You have a fucking no, shrine, dude. No. He's got a shrine that he's too lazy to grab. Yeah, I'm too lazy. It's, it's hanging on my wall and shit, but it's a Red Wing. <clears throat> uh, Red Wings. He beats off to it every night, and he won't go three grab it three times every night. Steve, you fucking. Out. What's your favorite hockey team, Steve? For the hat trick, the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays, Toronto Blue Jays. That's uh, that's the not. Minnesota Vikings. That's football. That's okay. Baseball and football. Dude, it's okay. I'm from Alaska. The Avalanche is way better than the goddamn. Detroit. Uh, that's fair. Oh, that's that's it. Uh, oh, you're from Colorado. That's, that's subjective. So, it so, is so, subjective. So, yeah, They're like big rivals, though, too. They used to be. Don't say careful. Yeah. Your dog's fucking up. It's not no, no. Your, 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 your foot was on the cable, bro. Yeah, dude. Your foot was dude. on the cable. No, it wasn't. Hashtag shut up, Steve. Hashtag shut up, Steve. What is your dog Hashtag trying to Steve tell me? Steve is great, he's guys. He just, um, wants, he just feels n- neglected. And I feel, now I feel guilty I even brought him because he's, he's, he's stealing It's focus. like bring a dog or a guitar, one or the other, you know? <laughs> All right. In the meantime, let's take this call from Allentown. Allentown. Where the fuck is that? Pennsylvania. Hello. Hello. This question is for Blake Weebar. Okay. Just wondering if you ever got some chapstick. Oh, uh, just wondering if I ever got some chapstick. I posted a picture the other day that zoomed in on my face, and my lips were chapped. And yes, I fucking have chapstick, dude. Okay. Wow. I didn't know everyone was gonna notice my chapped lips in a picture. So. Um, sorry, dude. Sorry that my lips were chapped and I offended you somehow. Jesus, dude. This culture these days, they're so weak. It's unbelievable how weak these kids are. They can't handle chapped lips. Fuck, know. dude. Fuck you know? Them. Fuck them, bro. Seriously. You got made fun of? I got made fun of for having chapped lips in a picture that I posted on Instagram. So it's, you know, it's whatever, dude. You doing another bit? Either way, no. no. I'm just telling you like it is, dude. No, I'm talking about how many here. calls y'all take? How long do you? How long we do you live cast? We're for? done. No, we're pretty much done whenever we want. <laughs> oh shit, that, <laughs> that was, was it. Up. I'm just kidding. Yeah, dude. No, uh, dude, chilling. we got more songs in us. Yeah, we got a couple more. I we mean, our rap shit was fun, dude. I got. I'm literally. Gonna, did you yeah, get that dude. from like a tech company? Like, dude, it's. I gotta it, get one of those. You could use them as a sponsor. You get it on yeah. uh, Amazon. On Amazon. It, the, the company called uh, Teenage Engineering. This is the pocket operator. They also make the OP12. How many? How many uh, beats are on that? 
It's a basically it's a drum machine. So this is like this is a sequencer. So it's like one two three four one two three four, and then each one is a different. If you could hear, each one's a different. You can change the BTM. You can change the. You can change everything. Wow. There's like different. Uh, wow. You what plug that thing into Ableton, and all of a sudden you've got. It's a little bit high. Oh, for real? Steve, you're taking him for a walk right now? That's what's... <laughs> okay. Wow, dude. That's what he does. Anyways, uh, okay, let's take three three more voicemails. Oh and my God, uh, dude. And we'll call, we'll, call this, we'll call this a potty. Uh, this one's coming in from Clarksville. I don't know where that is. Clarksville, Virginia? Yes, my uh, question is for all three of you. It is uh, <laughs> fuck, marry, or kill. Emma okay. Watson, Anna Kendrick, or Emma Stone? Emma Watson. I'd kill Emma. Emma Watson is 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 Hermione. Yeah, I think I'd kill her. I'd kill her for sure because she isn't. I feel like she's overrated. She, yeah, she's like one of those celebrities that's like, look how good I am. Look how good I am at being good. For real. Yeah. And then I don't really remember who Anna Kendrick is. Anna Kendrick's the chick from uh, from Pitch Perfect with the cup song. She does the. the cup. Fuck, dude! I gotta look her up, dude. She's got. She's really I'm, tiny. I'm bad at names and faces. Um, Anna Kendrick. Let's see. So then you have well Emma Stone. Emma Stone. I think I would marry Emma Stone. Yep, and then there you have go. Sex with Anna Kendrick. Boom. Same here. Yeah. Same exact. Same exact. Now yeah. that I know who Anna Kendrick is, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good question. You know, what about you, Maddie? What are you doing in that one? Um, can I fuck them all? No, you have you to kill, kill one. Them, you have bro. to marry one. You have to fuck one. Oh, dude. I hope my girlfriend's not watching this. Oh, would she get mad at you for this yeah, stupid hypothetical just, question? Definitely. You got to oh. break up with her, bro. That's not worth it being a part of. Oh, thank you. Somebody getting <laughs> mad about a hypothetical questions? I'm I won't entertain that. hypotheticals most of the time unless That's it's what on I this tell podcast. Her. Yeah. Uh, well, tell her it's called entertainment. That's what we're doing right now. Okay, I'm going to use that. This is my test <laughs> to see if she's going to handle it. I'm going to fuck Emma Watt. No, fuck Emma Stone, marry Anna Kendrick, and kill emma watson yeah because okay. i feel like anna kidrick would she like seems cheery she'll sing and be a kitchen but, but emma stone will be like she'll be the annoying one who would get mad at me for doing this hypothetical interesting I think okay so. well there you go boom um we got a couple super chats here one from ashley elizabeth who says thank you for al- always for the tuesday night entertainment more love from the atl hashtag steve is great while we're here talking about atlanta i'm gonna keep plugging it dude i'm gonna be at the hemp world expo in atlanta this weekend the oh, january yeah. 18th and 19th <laughs> We got another one. From I thought Hemp World died. By the way, can I just no. pick, can I piggyback on that? I'm going to be uh, in Atlanta performing at Kennesaw State College March Ooh. 24th. But the weekend right before that, I'm going to be doing some shows. So Mar- the end of March, look it up, Morgan J. Morgan J. Do you have a website, Morgan J. Morgan J. dot com, baby. I love it. I love Morgan it. Morgan J. dot com. We got another super chat from Ace Pork. He says, "If you know my real name, I'm a multimillionaire, bro. I'm oh. good on selling stupid stuff on pot- Spotify. So there you go. All right, All right. hell yeah, multimillionaire. That's do, good to is know. Is he e-commerce? Is he like does he does he do big big orders from Alibaba.com? He might. <laughs> Alibaba. He might. He very well might do that. Morgan, dude. you know Alibaba? Alibaba, Alibaba dude. Prince Ali had to go pee under a palm tree. Um, okay, we got another one from Ace Park. He says, I'm hammered. Capitalize on this, but send me a boob. Okay, yeah. so I will send you a boob this week. Um, we got another call from Los Angeles, and after this, we're taking one more super chat. Yeah. How do you feel being a comedian? How do you feel? What do you think? Are you a good Avenger? What's your favorite superhero? Uh, and I just hit myself. And... Uh, this guy's being run. silly. Bye. Okay. How do you feel about one? being an Avenger? Can so let's I shoot let's, myself? How do you like being a comedian? I fucking that's, love that's it. What, that's what we're going to take. That's the question we're taking. I fucking love it. I think I'm, I'm grateful every day that I get to do this right now for a living. That's great. Every do you guys buy into that uh, sad uh, person bullshit? Uh, like you got to be sad to be funny type of thing? I think to some extent... Yeah, I think I think I mean you have I'm, to have you have to come. I think comedy does a lot of the time come from a place of pain. Thick skin helps. Yes, yeah, it comes from a place of pain because you know to to make someone happy, you have to be not happy. And what is not happy? What is the most not happy thing? Pain. Um, so I think it helps to have a little bit of pain in. I, I think it. it doesn't hurt, but I don't think pain is a monopoly. No, it's not. Funny. It's you not. Know, it's not like the a, only re- thing. a prerequisite. Yeah. Some might but say that when you're happy, you're you're mentally free to create even better stuff. Yeah, but maybe not comedy. 
Yeah, I thought I think about that sometimes too. But you know, mm-hmm. when you're happy, you create drama. I think if you're a real artist, if you're a real you cre- artist, create just art in general, just you, other stuff. You will find a way to to channel happiness into art, sadness into art, and all those experiences in, into it. Mm-hmm. They're like colors in the color there wheel. Are, there are colors in the color wheel. Like you're sad, angry, joy. I heard your body gets addicted to stress, so that's why we have like higher levels of anxiety because we're getting more and more addicted to stress. And if you can see yourself stressing out and be like, "Oh, this is my body wanting this." type of situation it would go away quicker well you know what i uh, it's, uh piggybacking on that i think uh you trying to do some dj uh i think rich people like they get cancer more because they don't have a lot of things to worry about so they get can't like my mom is like always stressed out and working really hard i don't know if she's ever gonna get really sick unless she, the minute she relaxes she's gonna get cancer no stress isn't uh, good for you though yeah stress is the number one killer dude stress is what causes heart disease and stress is what causes a lot of the ailments that stress kill people. Stress causing heart disease. disease. Sorry. It ain't funny like a disease. I'm oh, sorry. Shit. Oh, shit. He's funny. He's pretty good. I don't think he's that funny. Come on. Good man. writer. Hey. Really I'm just saying. Say so we're entitled to, by the way, you missed the question, uh, Mary Fuck Kill, Emma Watson, Anna Kendrick, or Emma Stone? Emma Stone. Uh, I'm going to pass. He's passing. Okay, he, gets for sure. pass. he gets one pass okay, for per episode. Sure. One, one question I get to pass. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's let's take this super chat from uh, Ace Pork that says, no, Alibaba, I sell mass amounts of stuff to the government. So oh. there we go. Now we know how he made his multi-millions. He works in arms dealing. And let's he go. Let's bodies. take this last call oh, yeah. from Lancaster, California. Lancaster. Lancaster. Not that far away. Like and crew. What's a great quality vehicle that you need to drive around in? Mm. You and your bros. Or you and yourself. Mm. We're going to have to call Ace Pork. <laughs> yeah, we are going to have to ask Ace Pork. Dude, Ace Pork that. knows, dude. All right, let's call him. One more time, dude. One more he's, time. Okay. Ask him what a good car is. Yeah, a good car <laughs> to drive around with. Well, Wasn't it the Tesla? The Tesla, the Tesla truck. Le bon, let's or, see. Uh, we need your. Le this bon is our phone. Twice. All right, twice. Got to twice. Gotta call him twice. He's got to turn his phone back on. Let's go. We got to. <laughs> he's like, quit calling me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ace Pork. Yeah, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. I had to call you because we just had an interesting question that we can't answer that you might be able to answer. What's up, man? What's a good car to drive around <laughs> in with your bros? Honda Civic, man. Honda Civic? Yeah, man. Boom. Okay. So it's a cheap, cheap, young, you know. I drive a Honda. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I was just making yeah, sure. But- Pork 2020, dude. Thanks, dude. Back at you, man. Thanks for everything, and uh, appreciate you being able to answer this question for us. It. Well, and Steve has something to say. Hey, Spark, it's, it's Steve, bro. I love you, bro. I know you're talking while I'm talking, but I love you. <laughs> what? What's up? It's Steve. I just want to say I love you. Thank you. Hey, man. I, I mean, you've had our beef, but. <laughs> <laughs> Is it pork? Is that the beef? Hey, can that we settle that? this right now, dude? Can we settle it? Can we squash hey. it? Yeah, wait, 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 how do you want to, how do you want to settle it? I just I don't want to fight with you anymore. I'm kind of drunk too, and I just want to settle this yeah, and squash it. Too. All right, I love you, bro. I just want to say hashtag love you, Steve. Hell yeah! Wow. wow. Hashtag love you, Ace Fork 2020. Hashtag That's Ace-Pork amazing. 2020. All right, I'm gonna pass you, I'm gonna pass you to Maddie. Here's Maddie. Ace, what's up, bro? Wow. Hey, 
Hey, what's up, Matty? Yo, dude, you're always chill hey. as fuck. I can't wait to party with you. Yeah, man. Sometimes. Boulevard 3, man. That's my place. When, oh. I'm, in, when I'm in LA. LA. Let's go. Let's do it. We'll spin. We'll play. We'll DJ that night and get bottle service. Shoot. Dude, L- LA, LA, or fucking Ace Fork does it right at, at uh, Boulevard 3. I know all the fucking, all the dudes there, man. Like, last time I was there, I think I spent like 20, it was like around 20, 20 grand, so. Okay. That a boy. We'll do that it a again. Boy, Ace Pork. Hell we'll yeah. do it again, man. We'll, we'll, yeah. fucking, we'll fucking hang out soon. I'm, I'm about to fucking take off. Dude, fucking frick you, dude. Let's Let's go. go. Be safe, brother. Wow. Love you, bro. Bye. Love you guys. Love that guy. Seriously, fucking appreciate you guys. Later, fam. Back at you. Bye, bye. Oh yeah. Wow. Love you, dude. What a legend, dude. Unbelievable. So, so I'm glad we called him again just to make sure we can answer that question properly. Honda Civic. A lot of love. A lot of love. Well, that's our number one producer. Number one producer, dude. Um. Okay. So, uh. Before we do our final thoughts, let's go ahead and uh, give away this motherfucking boob, okay? Um, <laughs> so if you're listening throughout the podcast, Maddie's been writing down questions. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and ask a question. First person to respond in the comments with the correct answer gets this boob. Um, okay, let's go. I like this. Um, this two is good. Okay. Oh, oh ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, okay, I know exactly which one to ask because this, people will get this one. Uh, <clears throat> drum roll. Here he goes. Um, who called Morgan, what comedian called Morgan a genius? A musical genius. A musical do, genius. Do, 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 do. Oh, did it? What do, comedian do, 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 called do, do, Morgan do, do, a musical do, genius? Do, do, do. Oh, you know it. Now loop it. Did anyone get it? Let's see. Nobody? Let's see. Not yet. Wow. Nobody was listening. Hmm. It doesn't look like anyone was listening, Why dude. Why is this doggy booping me? Hit me in the nuts. I think he's just hungry. I think what happened was that was very that was, that was super early in the uh, episode. Yeah. We want to reward those people. Someone, you don't think anyone stuck around that long? Wow. Well, they we better have, have. We started with 50. Ace Borg is here, but he's embarrassed to win it again. Okay. So then, what okay. So, this one? so someone says, I don't know. Let's go to this next one. Uh, what color does Blake wish he could see? What color oh. do I wish I could see? Okay. If I could see any color, what color do I wish I could see? Steve. Oh, they got one. The first one got one. Someone wrote down. We got Jocelyn Winger Look at right here if we want to go. Oh, back. wow. What, they got the first question? Wow, yeah, they she, did. Oh, shit. It's there it is. Pop up. Before there. someone said red. Joseph Escarbol. I don't know how to say that. No, okay. Jake Wright got it before him. Julian Wright. Oh, Jocelyn, Jocelyn Wright. Jocelyn Winger. Jocelyn Winger. That's it. Winger. Wow. Okay, so it was just J- Jeff Foxworthy. And the answer to the second question was red. Uh, Jermaine Becerra said ref, um, which was close. Uh, now people are co- coming in with red. Wow, there's like a big delay. I didn't realize that. A lot of people are saying red, um, but we did get the answer. Do Jeff we, Foxworthy. Do, Jocelyn Wingler. Do we, do we accept the jo- We accept I that, right? I we should. Yeah. That was our first question. Yeah. That was the first question. We should have given him more time. We should have given him more time because there's yeah, a delay from we when we talk. Next time you do it, you do it, and then yep. – you just do some fill-in stuff while the dance Jermaine is Garcia yeah. won the second one. Is yeah, so we're going to give Jermaine Bersira a major shout-out right now. Major shout-out, Jermaine Bersira, for getting the second question right, but we did get the Jeff Foxworthy in before then. Mother so, than Jeff Foxworthy. Uh, Jocelyn, congrats for winning this boob. Uh, DM us on Instagram at... Killing it potty, P O D D Y. Oh, yeah. Killing it potty, uh, with your name, address, and or all that. Or Blake Weber. And right. no, I get too many DMs, Steve. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Let's go to final thoughts. Any final thoughts for today, Morgan boy? Sing it. Well, final thoughts. You gotta sing it, bro. Final thoughts. Anything. Sing you can it. promote something. Yeah, you can, you can follow me at Morgan J on yeah. Instagram. MorganJ.com is my website. I usually do Instagram the most. Uh, sing it. I feel really guilty about bringing this dog. I feel like he was a big distraction. I hope he you guys don't hate me. He's a good boy. Um, and uh, I really am happy to be reconnected with you guys. Uh, hell yeah! I really my favorite part of today was when we wrapped, and I thought that was super hella fun and it's super and, hella. Uh, um, yeah, and you know, keep on loving each other. I got my own podcast called uh, Relationship Status, where we ask about what your relationship status is, and we just sort of talk about your experience. You know, the girl that I 
interviewed yesterday is a big thirst trap and we talked about her thirst trap mm. persona versus her real life persona that it, wow you know what i mean that's that that was interesting it wasn't herself it wasn't herself even though she's out here getting dudes hella thirsty wow so incredible so like that yeah that's about what i got to plug nice yeah. steve what do you got for final thoughts this week um thoughts and prayers i was in a music video look out for that yeah. <laughs> um just fucking just hang in there you know do what you love to do and then at least your problems will be aligned with what you want your life to become. Yep. Do what you love. Love what you do. You know. Be patient. You know, connect with one another, right? Yeah. You can fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance. At d- that's Jim Carrey. That's JC. JC. Not not to be confused with Jesus Christ. We're Jim, talking about Jim, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Uh, Matty, what about you? Final thoughts? Any challenges? Um, What was that, that line you said about killing it is like stepping outside of your comfort zone? Killing it is stepping outside of your comfort zone. I said that. That was me. <laughs> Everyone should step outside <laughs> their comfort zone one this week, one time this week. Like realize something that you would not normally do, like a project you want to start or like an exercise you've been looking at doing, <clears throat> and just do that shit. And you then don't. see how you feel afterwards because I bet afterwards you're going to feel good. It's going to be hard to do yeah. it, but afterwards it'll feel great. Damn you know, right. You know what's funny? If you go out with a, a guy friend or a, any friend of yours, have them when you go out tell them to point to a stranger like make them like if i'm with with steve over here i'd be like steve you got to talk to that person you got to and you got to say this line to them like hey i like pineapple mm, and you go that's out, just fun. to get them in there to get them doing something out of their comfort zone that's fun and then you Is might it make to a sabotage them or to try no you just you just dumb you know do something silly do something silly have uh, fun you know that's break cool. outside your comfort zone don't be a fucking lame yeah, you fair. already know everything that's in your comfort zone exactly also i also heard this this is very important if you want to feel happy and you're sad, they say the quickest way to feel happy is to help somebody else. Ooh, I like that. So I believe it. Keep in mind, help somebody cross the street, carry somebody's groceries. You feel really good. I love yeah. it. I fucking love it. Um, beautiful, guys. My final thoughts this week are, uh, guys, stick to your plan in 2020, dude. Believe in yourself. And as long as you wrote down your goals and anything that you wrote down, no matter how ridiculous it is, you can achieve it through hard work and uh, and determination. Just stay strong. Stay strong. Follow your goals, dude. And it's forgive, important. love, learn, go, do shit. Yes. Do live, live, laugh, love. Uh, and also, I'm going to be at the Hemp World Expo this weekend in Atlanta, Georgia. So, guys, if you're in Atlanta, roll on through the Hemp World Expo. It's going to be lit as hell. I'll be there. I might have some boobs to give away. Well, is that all know. the time we have for today? That's all the well, we time gotta, we have. we got to thank some people. Oh, we got oh some yeah, producers. we do. Can you we see do. the producers? We got to thank our producers uh, who sp- who basically donate on our Patreon. Uh, we got our boy Ace Pork, Dan Ace Craze, Pork, and Furman you. Del Real. Guys, these are at the Dan twenty dollar level. Thank so you. thank oh, you so much uh, for all that Real, shit. The that I love it. Oh yeah, thank you guys. Thank Flying you so sky. much, guys. Thank you. I love wow. it. Wow, it's beautiful. That was great. That was so good. Thank you so much, dude.